Another day, another video. So, those of you who saw my video a couple days ago, uh, you know that I'm no fan of Trump. Okay? Right? My video two days ago, my video three days ago, I made it super fucking clear that just because I've been going hard in the motherfucking paint against Biden doesn't mean I'm on Team Trump or that I think <laughs> there's an again to make America great at. Um, so th I just wanted to be clear about that, right, before I get into the subject of today's thing. Um, and, and just to double down, yeah, it fucking sucks that in multiple speeches he went um, against the idea of the Fifth Amendment, using the Fifth Amendment. And now that it comes time, he'll use the Fifth Amendment. You know, it and his followers being all like, you know, back the blue, <laughs> fucking support the cops, troops, etc. Blah. Yeah. Until the cops like don't show you hospitality at the tantrum you threw on January 6th. But then, you know, you'll come back into a lull with it uh, until it comes time for the cops to fail to stop a school shooting. But, you know, that's how they are with basically everything. Um, when cops are two hours away, your handgun is near your dick. Like, you need to protect yourself, and we need a society where the state does not have a monopoly on violence. But that would mean no state, since the state is inherently violence monopolists, and they will claw for every little fucking thing until they eventually get their monopoly on violence. Like I, I went fucking, <laughs> I went pretty, pretty wild against um, Beto O'Cork with his stupid fucking, I'm gonna cuss at a, a voter thing, like. Everybody is all about, like, civility until it's time for Biden to call people fat um, or not black or something uh, or sniff a child, right? Um, Trump can't say something rude on Twitter, but Be Beto, Beto, Beto O'Rourke can fucking literally just call somebody a motherfucker in public and get cheers from Everyone in the room but him. Like, look at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the video. Actually, I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna play the video because I feel like it would be valuable for y'all to see this shit. Um <laughs> It's it's fucking hilariously hypocritical that this is what gets better to trend uh, in the Democratic circles. But they'll tell you that Trump is being too rude on Twitter and he should be banned. If Trump did this, fill in the blanks. I'm going to make sure that now 11 weeks since we lost 19 kids and their two teachers shot to death with a weapon originally designed for use in combat, legally purchased by an 18 year old who did not try to obtain one when he was 16 or 17, but followed the law that's on the books, ladies and gentlemen, that says that you can buy not one, you can buy two or more if you want to, AR-15s, hundreds of rounds of ammunition, and take that weapon that was originally designed for use on the battlefields in Vietnam to penetrate an enemy soldier's helmet at 500 feet and knock him down dead up against kids at five feet. It may be funny to you, motherfucker, but it's not funny to me, okay? He said the fuck word. Everybody clap. So... This was my response 
that Beta O'Rourke says the AR-15 was originally designed for the battlefields of Vietnam and says that that's the reason 18-year-olds shouldn't have them. 18-year-olds like those drafted in Nam. I don't see him opposing the draft. That's pretty funny to me. Hypocrisy and elitism, y'all. Now, most people got it. Uh, the most significant protester in my replies was some schmuck from the UK who couldn't understand a damn thing I was saying and had no interest in learning. Um, but, like, <laughs> these AR-15s weren't designed for war. They're based on the cult model and have been dwindled down by repeated legislation by people like him, remaining compliant with all laws in order to be a pistol now, not a shadow of its former war-forward state learn history live and that's true it's a pistol it's not a short barreled rifle otherwise it would be banned even though it's a civilian version of the actual weapon made for war uh and he got on one knee goofy look if the ar-15 was originally designed for war and 18 year olds shouldn't be using them ban recruiters from schools abolish the draft stop advertising real military forces to kids yeah, like on Twitch, when they're like saying things like uwu on Twitter in order to advertise their esports team, which they use to use video games to get kids into the military, the real military, using real guns that are really more powerful than this. It's fucking sick, <laughs> you know? Um, and if this guy didn't have the potential to win some sort of political contest based on this sort of thing, he wouldn't care, and he wouldn't do anything about it. It's 100% performance, and it's gross. Nothing he does will do anything for anyone, especially empowering the state. Because there are some slow-mos being slow in this thread. Uh, Vietnam War drafted 18-year-olds. If it was okay for those to carry a rifle, then it's okay for civilian 18-year-olds to carry that rifle. If not, then Vietnam is a bad example for your gun control argument, obviously. People who want to control you have no problem ignoring facts, history, context, and the reality of the draft forcing people to use that rifle, who he now says shouldn't, while in the same breath saying that it was designed for them. Transparent hypocrisy. Don't be a slow-mo, yo. So that was my take there. But that I you know, I just thought I would I would I would show that to show you that these people, these Democrats, are no better than the Republicans. And the fact that you don't like Trump, the fact that I don't like Trump, doesn't mean that we should have a Beto or a Biden or, in this case, a Clinton. Because it's astonishing to me, the hypocrisy here, that Trump shouldn't have had any sort of classified information on his, uh, in his house. But people ignore the fact that F the FBI flagged 193 emails on her private bathroom closet server as um you know confidential so let me let me pull up some some proof here oh and also she smashed well her aide smashed two of her phones so this is an interesting article from politico magazine politico you know like these people aren't republican staples and they're not going to be some kind of shill. And this is a reasonable expose sort of thing. I'm just going to scroll quickly. You can go to the source if you want. But the bottom has all the information you need about the investigation. Which is that publicly the scandal's legacy is clearly more muddled. And if a previous Clinton family scandal hinged on what the definition of is is... The scandal around the emails appears to hinge on how you view that little C on the email about President Banda, as well as the 192 other classified emails by the FBI that together represent 0.48% of the some 40,000 emails Hillary Clinton sent and received over more than four years as the nation's top diplomat, all running through a jerry-rigged computer server that let her stay comfortably on the blackberry she liked it's a it's a good article read it read it the link will be in the description um but over here you see that this is on abc it's not some sort of republican 
fucking propaganda outlet. She 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 fucking deleted thirty three thousand of the like ninety three thousand emails that were on her server. Why, if they were fine, did she do that when they found out about her server that she kept in her home in her bathroom fucking closet? Why did WikiLeaks have to push this? You know? Why why did this not get more coverage? It was like <laughs> it was a shit ton of emails that are just gone and 193 of them were classified. And that's just what the FBI found. You know, if she's willing to delete those, who knows what she also didn't delete. You know? Or also did, but fucking smashed a device. Or did and just didn't tell anybody. Or, 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 like, it's it's a long fucking series of things that could be true here. And when when you're as uncharitable to people like Hillary as you are to people like Trump, this starts to look a lot less fucking kosher, doesn't it? Or, or, or this, where... Even Snopes has to admit that Hillary Clinton had two of her phones smashed. Two of them. By, by her aides. I wonder what was on those phones. I wonder why she deletes and smashes so much in her personal possession. Could it be that she was being irresponsible too? Could it be that irresponsibility is the norm here and the entire state needs to go? Not just the evil Republicans... Holy shit, why is it not more obvious that these people are all on the same team? If you watched my video the other day, you know Trump gave Hillary Clinton money to get elected. They're all on the same team. Fuck this entire system. You know? And, and anybody who says that this isn't how it is, is giving way more charity than they would ever remotely consider giving to Trump. Because they're partisan hacks. Sort of like Jessica Tarlov, who I, I talked about after seeing her on Fox News today, sort of the impetus for this video, where she thinks Hillary Clinton cooperated like a normal person. When investigated, over her secret bathroom server. Hillary Clinton deleted 33,000 emails, 55,000 pages from an email server hidden in her house. Her aide destroyed her phone twice. Normal person cooperation? 193 emails and 0.48% of the server was classified emails identified by the FBI. WikiLeaks had to reveal them for anyone to care, and even after that, Shillery saw none of the jail time that they demanded of Trump after the Mar-a-Lago raid. This must be the fabled new normal. And just to be clear, I don't think either of them are going to jail. I do think they're all on the same team. I think this is a big fucking soap opera. But I also think that if you take one side or the other, and you pick Hillary, uh, if you pick the the democratic establishment and think you're on the side of the left or the woke or the <laughs> the enlightened or the people fucking fuck you holy shit you're dense i you know i'm just i'm sick of the double standards the lies the politicking and i've been sick of it for a while if you're sick of that too Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and smash that fucking <laughs> share button as hard as you can, because my videos usually don't break 100, and I'd like to see that change. But also follow me on Odyssey for when this kind of actual information is eventually the thing that gets me banned from YouTube. Either way... <laughs> Uh, you can follow me on my old Twitter now, since they unbanned that, at Insanity is Free. Um, and you can follow me at Jeremiah EXE, variety of places. And uh, yeah, most important thing to smash, 
smash the fucking state.